Hi, I want to talk about big binoculars, tripods, and bino chairs. Uh, this is 20 by 80 Barska binoculars. At that magnification, you cannot hold them steadily enough to see anything worthwhile because you're too shaky. Uh, you can try leaning against a tree, you can try bracing it on a banister outside looking up, but eventually you're going to have to get a tripod. And the tripod, because binoculars have a center of gravity, it's very off weight. This is not a movie camera. It doesn't have center of gravity right down the shaft. You've got to get a tripod three times the rating for your binoculars. Five pounds, this needs to be a 15 pound rated uh, tripod. So, at some point, you're going to realize, as you're looking at high zenith artifacts, you're going to get crouched and bent and contorted and you're going to have a bad back after a while. So naturally what astronomers do is they get chairs. So I want to talk about a bino chair. The bino chair. You start with the basics. A very comfortable, very good uh, chair that suits your body well. This is a La Fuma, an Italian made uh, chair. It's a lawn chair. It's fairly light. A little heavier than a standard folding chair. But this reclines. Uh, I then had to go create the mount. This is conduit pipe, half inch conduit pipe, a keyboard uh, extender, and this is extends to get in and out of the chair, get it over your head, and then draw it back. It's counterweighted uh, by any kind of weight you want. I'm going to probably be using scuba dive belt weights. Right now I'm using uh, something else. When you're adding seven or eight pounds here, seven or eight pounds there, you now have an extra uh, 15, possibly 20 pounds to paint on your binocular up high. And this makes the chair no longer balanced for a normal body and it wants to tilt back. So you have to add bungee cords to counter the weight effect to keep the chair balanced for your body. Uh, that is, in essence, what we have here but I want to show you specifically how this is made. Uh, this design is a conglomeration of many bino chairs, but it borrowed heaviest from uh, the Gary bino chair. Okay, the most important feature is two conduit hangers, which is half, uh, half inch to half inch with in between a standard metal washer and a Teflon or nylon washer. And then some wing nuts, uh, remove the old nuts, put in wing nuts to make it adjustable in the field without tools. Uh, the conduit just has 90 degree turns. I've got a, a old computer battery that's using as a counterweight. And this needs spacers, so I used um, the type of uh, drill that drills out doorknobs and I made my own spacers out of wood. The mount itself is simply a half inch half inch bolt and another spacer here and you now have the monocular mounted. Do be sure to put in extra holes right there and right there in case you have a smaller binocular or you need more space adjustments. Uh, and that pretty much sums it up. Now then, let me get into it. Very simple design. Uh, fairly hard to put together the first time. You want this counterweighted to where you're perfect. Single finger can adjust the height. And you have enough degree of motion to see anything left and right about 45 degrees. If you need to, you can always adjust your binocular itself to get more clearance, especially when you're lower, lower to the horizon. And that sums up my bino chair.